Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file. It's a, a JPEG or a bitmap. It's a JPEG. And they say it traces pretty good. So let's go to Outline Trace Clip Art. But it's not uh, very uniform or equal. So you can always look at it left click, right click. And you can kind of see where this top is kind of curved. Well, that can easily be fixed by taking away that node and then selecting that node, holding down the shift key, select that node, right click, and turn it into a line. So that's line square, but you'd actually have to go around and do that and look at this. I mean, it, it didn't trace that bottom part very good at all. So when I see something like this, I think, you know, how would you draw that? Well, to me, it's a square with two circles. So let's actually use it and let's get it back to a square shape. So let's rotate it 45 degrees and there's our square. And if we're gonna mimic it perfectly, we're just gonna hold down and, and make the square like that. And then let's rotate everything and I'm not perfect, but I would for the video. Let's rotate it 45 degrees and go ahead and rotate this 45 degrees or back to zero maybe. And we get our shape and then let's get the ellipse tool and just kind of bring it in here and kind of match that ellipse. And boy, I'm, I'm pretty close. I'm going to leave it alone. And I'm also going to make sure it's perfect. So I'm going to get, I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to hit P on the keyboard. And then I'm going to take my circle and I'm going to have it snap to that node. I'm going to hit the plus sign on the keyboard. And I'm going to move the other one to this side. And then all I have to do, well, one thing we could do, and I don't do it all the time, is weld it. Whoop. That didn't work. So let's do a back minus front. There we go. And then, so this is perfect. It's symmetrical. Let's control D and make a duplicate of it and rotate it 45 degrees, 50, uh, 90 degrees on this one. There we go. And now you can weld it. And there you have that shape and it should be equal, perfect and you could even, if they need to match that color, you could actually, when your smart fill tool, go down and get your eyedropper tool and t t get that color. And there you have it. I would always take away the outline so you can right click no outline. And there's that shape to a T. And you're, it's good and clean and square corners. And if you're an engraver, you really want to turn it to a black probably to engrave it but I don't know what they're doing with it. Hope that helped. Thank you for